the formidable robot. In the old days of the internet, legends tell that there was a Spongebob forum website named GoofyGoobersForum.com, which was very active and popular, a go-to for the average Spongebob fan. However, not many know the dark secret behind this supposedly normal forum, a secret which forces people's activity. I'll go into both the contents of the website itself and what forces people to be active on it. The forum appeared nothing too weird on the front, having its design based off of Spongebob and whatnot with its icons being based off of Spongebob characters, its background being the sky background from the show itself, and its logo being an edit of the show's logo. The users on there were very friendly and there weren't much rude people, most of the users often talked about new episodes, little known trivia about the show, what characters they like, joked around with each other, and they sometimes posted about stuff not related to the show and related to their own lives and or another thing they like aside from Spongebob. The only suspicious thing related to the forum was the fact that if anyone talked about being forced to stay online or something about the website giving a virus, the messages would be deleted or be prevented from being sent by the message filter. And those suspicions are right. Beneath this website's innocuous surface lies a virus, this virus detects if the user is online or not and logs their activity. If the user has not been online in a week, the virus is put inside their PC without warning and it begins its destruction, which gets more and more dangerous each day the user isn't online. The first payload it gives the user is a simple warning, by changing their background to an edited shot of Patrick trying to not give in to the Goofy Goober song from the Spongebob movie, and opening up a text file which said, Dear, username on GoofyGoobersForum.com, you have been inactive for more than a week. Come back online and there won't be any trouble. The second payload happens after a day the first one happens. It's another warning like the first one, but it plays a heavily edited version of Goofy Goober Rock constantly on the PC, aside from that, it's nothing special. The third payload is where the virus begins its attack and happens after another week of inactivity. It begins spamming various edited versions of Spongebob images on the user's PC, preventing them from doing simple tasks, and also forcing their cursor to go to the browser's search bar and open up the website by making their keyboard automatically enter its address. Going into the website no longer deactivates the virus from this point on. The fourth payload begins after another week since the third, with the images being spammed faster, but every app opened on the PC instead redirects to the forum and prevents the windows from being closed, pretty much a more intensified version of the third payload. The fifth and final payload begins two weeks after the fourth. The virus renders the PC unusable and prevents it from booting by playing a video upon starting up. The video features a still image of a wind-up music box along with a low-pitched version of the Goofy Goober jingle from the show. A message saying, you should have stood online, appears for a quick second before the video ends and shuts down the PC, permanently rendering it unusable from this point. When news broke out of the forum having a virus forcing its users to be online, tons of people were upset prompting many to go on the website and spam images showing evidence of the virus destroying their PCs. The owners and moderators eventually became overwhelmed at taking down every message, causing them to shut the website down for good and taking the virus along with it. When the website was down, many celebrated at its demise and were excited that the user-forcing son of a barnacle was gone for good, some of those users being former forum goers and moderators. But the website's legacy remains as one of the most infamous cases of trying to get your own site to become popular through scummy means, and became a warning to those who are unaware about what secrets lie in the virtual superhighway that's the internet.